Hi, I'm Ed Sobe from Kids Invent. We're starting to work on boats and this is a nice step up. We're using milk cartons or juice cartons as the hull. This is wonderful material. It's waterproof, it's free, it's easy to cut and shape. So it's a great material to use for boats. If you have these at home or if you can collect some from your friends and neighbors that are already formed into the rectangular shape, you'll save yourself some time. Otherwise, use the ones that we provide, which are flattened, and then before class starts, you need to figure out how to form these into the Tetra box by uh, folding and gluing. So you get the completed sil uh, carton to use in the class. You can cut this either of two ways, one for a V-hull, most people will not do this. This is a little tricky, requires ballast to stay upright, but certainly uh, for those kids who are creative and want to do something different, they can make a V-hole. Most kids will go for a flat bottom hole, which is just cutting the uh, milk or juice carton length lengthwise. By the way, this is the half gallon. The quart also works just as well. So once they have the hull, then this activity is balloon powered boats. They use the same sort of mechanism that we used a few weeks ago with balloon powered cars, a balloon by itself, a balloon with a vinyl straw, or a balloon with uh, the straw, the large diameter straw. They can put the balloon into the, I'm sorry, the straw into the balloon and tape it securely so there's no air loss and they can poke a hole or they'll probably require some assistance with an awl or another sharp tool, poke a hole through the back of the boat and either into the water or into the air. Does it matter if the exhaust is going into the air or into the water? Does it matter that the exhaust is going opposite to the direction of the boat or can it go straight down? Does it matter the length of the straw? If the straw were a mile long, would the boat go faster or slower? If the straw were very short, would it go faster or slower? These are all great questions to ask students. Let them experiment in their teams of two or three as they try to get their balloon-powered boat to cross the pond, which in this case is a kiddie wading pool. Let me point out one fun thing. If they are having the balloon exhaust through a straw into the water, if they restrict the flow just a little bit with a paper clip across the end of the straw, they can usually get a very fun putt-putt sound, just like an old one-lung outboard motor. It would just go putt-putt-putt-putt-putt as it goes right across the wading pool. Great activity, have fun.